In this exercise, what we got to do is, this is just a sort of warm-up exercise. Essentially what we have here is we have this curve here, y equals x squared, it's a quadratic curve, and it's, yeah, and we also have this line here, y equals 2x, so this is the, the, the line y equals 2x along here, okay, and the, so we have the curve there as well. So what we want to do is find the points of intersection between uh, of the, the line and the curve. Okay. Now really what we're looking for is the values of x. Okay. Now in this particular instance it's a simple enough example because one of them is the origin. Okay. But what is the other one? So one of the points is obviously going to be 0, 0. We're going to find that out again anyway. We'll, just, we'll do it properly but we know already that one of them is the point 0, 0. Uh, but what is the other one? So how do we find out what they are? What we're going to do is let the two equations equal each other. So we're going to let this equation and this equation, we're going to let them equal each other. So let's do that in a new slide. So y equals x squared and y equals 2x. When we let them equal each other, we get x squared equals 2x. Okay. Divide both sides by, um, sorry, actually, let x squared you can't divide both sides by x. Minus 2x equals 0. Okay. And it, I, I, it's sort of, you, you would sort of be forgiven for thinking you could divide uh, both sides by x. Not advisable, okay, because it could be a divide by 0 problem because x could be 0. And if you divide, if x is, could be 0, and you're dividing by x, that's a divide by zero problem, so you don't divide by x, and I even ran, nearly ran into that myself. So, uh, try and construct a quadratic equation like this. This is a polynomial of degree 2, x squared minus 2x equals zero, okay? And what we're going to do is factorize this, and we'd have x and x minus 2 equal to zero. So here we have x equals zero and x equal to 2. Okay, just like take out the term x equals 0 and then look at that term there, x minus 2, let that equal 0. Okay, so we have x equals 0, x equals 2. Now let's find the corresponding values for y. Well, in both cases it is y equals x squared. So in the first case, y is equal to 0 squared, so that's 0. And in the second case, y is going to be equal to um, 2 squared, so that's 4. Okay, so let's go back to our graph here. So this point down here, we already knew it to be 0, 0. Okay, and this point here, we need to be, um, we know to be uh, the point 2 and 4, 2, 4. Okay, just sort of quick remark. What is specifically of interest later on is the values of x for the, both of these. Okay. So here x equals 0 and x is equal to 2. What I'm trying to sort of, what we're going to sort of get at here is that what we're looking at is that where the region uh, that this sort of enclosed area is between, uh, where it is, uh, and just really we're particularly interested in the uh, values of x. We're not particularly as worried about the values of y of the points of the intersection. Essentially this shaded area here as far as the horizontal orientation is concerned it's between the line x equals 0 and x equals 2 okay how do we know that it's the uh, values it's the, the the x coordinates of both intersection points of the line and the curve all right that's going to be important later on for uh, calculating areas of enclosed enclosed regions okay but anyway so that's the points of intersection